so continuing from where we left off last time, I showed you how to make a ASCII file out of binary files. Now we're going to learn how to use these in a way that kind of makes sense. All right. First thing you got to know is for a web browser to understand what the file is, because this just looks like garbled data, you have to give information. For example, data, colon, and then um, I believe this is called the HTTP tag. Let's see what it's called here. Internet media type. That's right. The internet media type. And then, of course, tell it base64. So let's open up a new document here. Something just fell down in the distance. And we're going to do a herif. And then we're going to go follow this pattern here. Here I have application slash BitTorrent. So I'm going to copy these for the sake of speed here. As you say, boop, data, application, BitTorrent, base64. And here I have a Debian torrent, which I made into the, the base file, which is the this. We copy all that, copy, we paste, then we end that tag there because, you know, if you go all the way to the top, this is a big file, let me use the, it's supposed to be in the, the, the quotations here, so you got to end it in the quotation so it knows where to end, and slash end tag, and then you say Debian, because that's the name of this torrent file, and you end it. I'm going to go ahead and save this file to the desktop, um, not desktop, to my working directory, which is studio film base 64 2. Here we go to test.html. Now, here's the best part. When we open up this file in a modern web browser like Firefox 5 or Chrome, it shows up here, and you can see at the bottom, it's data application, but when we click it, it recognizes that it is a BitTorrent file and Firefox automatically decodes it for you. Now this also works with um, image files like image, gif, audio, aug, all this kind. Whatever you want to do, you basically add it to the HTML file like a regular document and it should handle it just like a regular document. All right, so uh, this might be useful if you ever need to uh, embed something into an HTML file, such as an image or torrent file. I even tried it with uh, a Vorbis file, and you can embed it into an HTML5 standardized audio video file, and it'll work flawlessly. Have fun, uh, and enjoy, kids.